Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard here. I hope y'all having a good morning. I certainly have. I've been drinking coffee for about an hour and a half, waking up. I've been woke up. I'm not kidding. Now, I'm ready to go fishing this morning. Today, we're going to go on the Tennessee River and going to do a little bit of crappie fishing. One of my favorite ways to locate fish in the fall when the water temperature gets 55, 60 degrees, right in that range, when it drops to that range, you'll see me out there casting. I can cover a lot of water and locate crappie like this. Uh, a lot of different ways I fish for crappie, but this is a great way to search for them, or it is for me. Let's go. The wind's starting to really come on in here too, but this is four pound test Mr. Crappie. A Garcia Saron S by 20, can't wear the reel out. And my favorite rod for crappie fishing or for casting, one of my favorites is a six foot eagle claw light action rod. And I'm gonna start off with a blue ice because the sun's out. And I have a weed guard in it, which those of you who watches the channel n knows that I make my own weedless jigs. I just make them up myself have a video about that i'm going to start off with it because i feel like the fish are going to be in the cover a little bit they probably will be under this uh these type of weather conditions but let's make a cast i made a long cast right there i'm going to let it sink about four feet deep because the water right there where i made a cast is about eight feet deep Okay, I'm about four foot. I'm going to bring that bait back real slow. Watching for that line to go thump. That is if there's a crappie right there. If there's not, we're going to have to hunt them. Crappie fishing is all about hunting. But I'm going to let my anchor down right here. If it reached the bottom, let's see. Okay, it barely reached. And I'm anchoring right here at the back. In an aluminum boat, you'll make a lot less noise if you'll do that. But the thing about it is, folks, be aware, if you're where there's a lot of boat traffic or if there's a lot of big waves, things of that nature, don't do that. Only if you're in backwater areas. But what it does, a little aluminum boat like this, the little bit of chop that we have, well, you can't hear it. These fish cannot hear me right here on this tree, if there's any in it. See, I don't know. But uh, if you anchor at the front of the boat, it'll broadcast a sound of pop, 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 pop. That's not good. That's not good when you're in shallow water. I just wanted to point that out a little bit. Oh, I don't know what that is. That fish was there. I know one thing. I guarantee y'all one thing. This ain't no crappie fish. But now this is a good example of what happens to me out here fishing for crappie. I had a few comments asking, is that when you crappie fish, all you catch, is that all you catch is crappie? No. I catch a bunch of everything. I just show the crappie. But a jig, I catch them all. And what we have right here is a large mouth. What I did is I came over that tree that was laying out here in deeper water. It's right out here in front of us. And I let that jig fall along the trunk of that tree. Then I started my retrieve back up. When I did, that fish nailed it. Come on back here. Come back here, boy. And it's a doggone good largemouth. Okay. And I do that a lot out here. I catch all kinds of stuff. A jig will catch anything that swims. And y'all know that. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that I'm catching fish at all times. But I am searching for crappie right now. 
that's a good bass right there. That'd be a good one in a tournament if he was having trouble ca um, catching fish. That'd be a good one. That one right there could win a tournament. You're having a little bit of problems getting them fab, but let, we're not tournament fishing. We're out here enjoying the day. That's a beautiful fish. Golly, how pretty. Go on back, fella. It makes me nervous when my wife screams at me. All right, I've moved to a different area right here. I couldn't find any crappie. They wouldn't have it in the... The two stretches I fish, so I'm still hunting for them. Let's put us a little of this slab sauce on here, right here. Now I'm using blue ice. Blue ice has got to be my favorite clear water color. There we go. Got him, folks. That's a crappie. I can tell count kind of them head shakes, and this is a good one, too. Maybe I can find some. Oh, gone, that's a good fish. You doggone right. Sorry about the movement and stuff. Let's get him right here. I caught him at an awkward angle. I try to keep my camera in the right spot. I want y'all to look right here. What a crappie. Hey. Barometric pressure or not, we're going to at least try to catch a few crappie. That's a big black crappie. And I'm proud to catch him. Look at there, what a fish. Thick, girthy, healthy. Whew. Maybe we can catch a few. I've tried everything that I know, and this was my last resort right here. But blue ice pulled it off in this clear water. Let's let him go. Man, I knew that was a crappie, that distinctive thump. There was no doubt, no doubt about it. I changed rods. This is a dock shooter. It's six foot long made by all-star and i bought this rod at academy sports in gadsden alabama uh and i just have a little cheap reel right here but they're good ones it's a fluger try on i believe is the name of it and uh see how many bearings it has it's got seven ball bearings you can get them cheap it's a good enough reel and i have it loaded with four pound line and i'm still sticking with this blue eyes right here all right maybe we can catch a few crappie right here i'm gonna give it what i got let's catch another one and hey bursal has gotten trouble with his woman let's turn around here i'm gonna try to face the wind i may have to anchor that's a it don't look like it's hard wind folks but it is see i can't really get a good cast out there but all I done right there. I just was holding my rod tip low because it's windy. And just a slow reel. Nothing fancy. None of this. <laughs> Crappie don't need all that. They want something they can catch easy because they're lazy anyway. And that fish bit probably, oh my goodness, two feet under the surface. Real shallow. There's another one. That's a crappie. No doubt. Shaking that head. I was fishing a little deep. Just a little deep. Obviously. That's a black crappie. nothing to it or I say nothing to it I, I have done a lot of hunting today a lot of scouting let's get him in the net that's a big fish right there now that 
And I don't care what part of the country you're in, that's a slab. That's a slab. Check him out. I saw a big boy right there. That is a big, girthy fish. But, I got fish in the freezer. I got some shell cracker in the freezer, so I'm going to let him go. Got to let him go, folks. It's too pretty, but I want you to look what Look at there. They let him go. Come on back, boy. And get bigger. I'm going to stem my mat out just a little bit. All right, I'm going to get back in there. That was two bites real quick. I ain't going to leave them. I'm going to work with it. Got to work with it. It could be a two-pound fish in there. That one there was about a pound and a half probably. It was a good one. Put a little slab sauce on there and let's see what we can do. I tell you, I don't take this stuff... I take hunting fish and locating fish serious to a certain degree, but it's all about coming out here. It, the Lord created this for a reason, and it's for us to enjoy. That's just that simple. I can't put it any simpler. Let's catch another one. Whoa. Try that again, boy. And he did. And I got you too. That fish hit it once. He didn't obligate. Then he come back and he got it, folks. I just kept a steady wind on it. When they do that, just keep winding real slow. And a lot of times they'll, they're just, they'll just keep following that bait. I've had that happen I don't know how many times. They'll just nip it. We'll just flip this one in. This is a black crappie. Another black crappie. Look at there. Healthy fish. But yeah, just keep that retrieve up. If you're fishing shallow like two, four feet up under the surface, even six feet, if you get that nip, don't reel it away from the fish just hold your cool and just keep reeling real slow you'll find out mm, let's put a percentage on it 50% of the time you'll go ahead and catch that fish let's let him go let him go on back and get a little bit bigger and that's really about 11 inch crappie or better but those first two were real good fish let's see if we can catch another you know, Mercil, he's getting where he won't shave and he looks scroungy. I like to eat beans and taters because they're good for me. Thump. There he is. I tell you what, folks, if this is a crappie, it's a doggone good one. Look here. What? Some slabs. And y'all were right. I don't like to horse a fish in. I like to take my time. Oh, that's why I'm out here. Well, he ain't as big as I thought he was, but he's a good fish. Well, net him. Yeah, he's ain't nothing wrong with that, are they? But I do. I like to take my time. I do not like the horse fish in. That's a big crappie. What am I talking about? That clear water made him look little. That's another dandy. That's a word I ain't used in a long time. I used to hear the old timers say, that's a dandy. <laughs> Boy, I love this stuff, folks. And I know y'all do too, because when you go fishing when you can, it's always gonna be good for you. Not just because you're catching fish. Because look, I can turn the camera off right now and just sit in the boat right here and just look. That's beauty. 
Let's let him go. There he goes. There we go, folks. That's a crappie. If I ever nailed a crappie, put a hook in one, that's a crappie. The temperature's dropping big time out here. I mean, big time. The weatherman, he, well, he was right, no doubt. I knew when that fish hit it, it was a crappie. That's a black crappie. Hadn't caught a white crappie out here yet. It's another big one. Let's check him out right here. Whew. That temperature in the last 30 minutes has really dropped. That's what the weatherman said. A lot of times I believe the weatherman, sometimes I don't. But he was right this time. Beautiful black crappie. Let's let him go on back. Go on back, boy. Nothing like it. All right, folks, we caught a few slabs. They were difficult to locate, but that's the way it is in the fall sometimes. Um, due to weather conditions, height of water, a lot of things factor in right here. But I'm way behind on my shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Master Sergeant. That's Ricky Wallace's friend. Um, he's my friend too. I just want to give him a special shout out. He served in the military. I'm big on the military. In fact, we have a shirt to um, just recognize the fact of all veterans. I'm, a big, I'm big on that. It's very important uh, to me. And also a shout out to Terry Cadweld from Illinois, who sent me a, a reel to fish with. And um, I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much, Terry. Um, I want to say this. I'm not big on advertisement at all. And I'm getting a lot, but still, I'm getting a lot of questions about these shirts. The Richard Jean Fishing Machine shirt and the hat. Um, it supports the channel in such a way that it keeps me in gas money. And that's about it. But that's enough. It, it helps. And I'm getting quick. How do you get a shirt? Well, go to the About page. And uh, you'll see the merchandise there. I'm not big on this advertisement thing, but we did accept a uh, company to build these shirts, make these shirts. And we also have, you know, one for vets, um, which is one that is selling pretty good. And I just appreciate If you don't buy one, I appreciate it anyway. Uh, the channel is not about advertising, but it just helps a little bit. And I thank y'all for buying them. And, but if you don't, I thank y'all anyway for watching. You know, it's hard for me to... But I'm going to say this. Fishing is the greatest sport on earth. That's not opinion. I used to say it's opinion. I don't anymore. Fishing this way with light tackle, a jig, light line, you can cover a lot of water and find fish. That's what I had to do today. The fish were very scattered, and I was lucky before this front to catch those fish. I was real fortunate. But thank y'all very much for watching. Hey, all the great comments. Whoa. Ooh, uh. And remember, go fishing when you can. Look all this good for you.